Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits. As always, joined by Jakob the Lord Today, um, we're in Copenhagen at our friend Mess's place, and it's his birthday today. So, happy birthday to Mess! <laughs> mm. And also, a sad thing happened today. Uh, no. Jeff Heinemann from, from Slayer died, so rest in peace, man. <laughs> um, but yeah. We're in Copenhagen for a Copenhagen beer celebration. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have a little pre-CBC tasting now, and we're gonna be trying the Firestone Walker 13th anniversary ale. And we also have the 16th coming up to try after this, so that should be awesome. This is one of these blended uh, beers that they do for the anniversary series. This is some 12% American Strong Ale. It's blended Parabola, Bravo, Velvet Merkin. Uh, yeah, I can't really read the rest of it because it's on a computer screen behind it. I will put it up. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I'll probably do an annotation or something. I need it much larger than that. Let's see. <laughs> Uja and... Oh, what's it called? Rufus and... Yeah. It's a blend of all those, you know, crazy beers and stuff. So that's cool. And Firestone Walker usually makes good stuff. But this is, what, how old now? Uh, 16 was released uh, last year, so it's three years old. So it might be past its peak, but we will find out. So yeah, let's get it open. So we got the Firestone Walker 13 board, and it's yeah. almost opaque. Yeah, I mean it's it's not a black color; it's blackish. Yeah. When it poured, wow, it smells good. <laughs> it, when you poured it, it it had like a kind of uh, ruby red tinge. Yeah. It. A little bit of a foamy, uh, off white, off -white head, it's yeah. like beige head. Let's check out the aroma proper. <laughs> mm, wow. Yeah, it's from 09. 09. 09. It's not as complex as 14. No. But I, then again, but it still smells really, really yeah. nice. But, I, but then again, this have aged a lot, yeah. so I think some of the hop, he, maybe some hops characters will... Yeah, and it's also chilled, so we're having yeah. it slightly chilled. So. <laughs> oh, slightly. <laughs> yeah. Heavily chilled. Yeah, we usually don't drink them chilled, but it smells pretty nice. It's got a lot of vanilla and kind of like bourbon notes. Mm. It smells, it's got a lot of the stout components, yeah. like a lot of parabola-like notes, some chocolate coffee notes. Mm. But Picking out a little bit of a honey and a syrup, and some, like a molasses. Yeah, and some uh, oak, oak notes. Yeah. A lot of oak notes, actually. I'm also picking up a little bit of alcohol yeah. on the aroma. What's the ABV, by the way? Twelve. Twelve. So is this a good kind of? It's a good yeah start. breakfast beer <laughs> or yeah it's like <laughs> not even twelve o'clock yet, but it's CBC so it's yeah. okay. Um, but yeah, some fake dates, you know, dark fruits, some of the dried kind as well, raisins. It smells pretty nice. Yeah. Want to give it a taste? Yeah, I want to dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, much sweeter, but yeah, I think this has peaked. Yeah, it is more muted than any other Firestone Walker barrel aged beer we've had. Mm -hmm. But it's still pretty nice. I mean, it's still a nice big barrel aged um, American strong ale. I'm yeah. I'm picking up a little bit of the alcohol. It does have a little bit of an oxidation to it as well. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, it's like nice mm -hmm. bourbon notes, <coughs> decent Sorry. amount of vanilla. What are you picking up? Did you say honey? But honey. The uh, marzipan or almond kind of um, mm -hmm. note, and some uh, milk chocolate. Yeah. And some dusty chalkiness kind of. Yeah. And I, th I can th you can definitely taste parabola. Yeah. This side through. Mouth feel is full though. Well, it, I don't think it is as full. No. But it's it's on the lighter side of full, but it's still full. It's got that kind of viscous, sticky feel to it. Mm. It's got some a lot of residual sugars. It's actually quite sweet. Yeah. Compared to what I remember fourteen being. Oh yeah, that's right. Some coffee notes, kind of like espresso. Barrel wise, espresso. yeah. Yeah, barrel wise, it's bourbon that shines through, like a bourbon whiskey flavor, mm. with the oaky woody tannins, uh, some of the like vanilla notes that you said, along with a lot of dark fruit and dried dark fruits. It's like a mix of kind of stout barley wine, I said, because it's mm. also got some roasty, toasty notes and coffee. Mm. Uh, but it's really nice. I mean, it's definitely worth trying. But if you have a bottle of thirteen. I say crack it now, cause uh, I don't know if it will. It's probably gonna evolve a lot more in the glass when it gets warmed up. But um, as of it is right now, it's still a great beer, but yeah. it's not blowing my mind as much as fourteen did, which was crazy. <laughs> but rating wise, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ninety two on this one. It's it's really nice. It is really really good. I mean, it's still we're just not as overjoyed by it because we're expecting you know great things because it's Firestone Walker but it's still a great blended, blended beer I mean to think that this is so many different beers and they got it so right is pretty impressive yeah. but um, 14 is better that's much better but yeah. yeah yeah 92 I think it's still a really nice barrel aged brew I was thinking 93 actually so uh, yeah mm. I'm, I'm agreeing with you 
it's it's great, it's good, but uh, I'm not as mind blown as I was no. with whole team. But um, yeah, it's it's still definitely worth checking out. And in a minute, we'll be having 16, which should be great, and that's at perfect temperature. So yeah, that should be nice. So yeah, guys, definitely let us know what you think of Firestone Walker yeah. 13. And if you had it fresh, real. yeah, how was it fresh? And uh, oh yeah, well, today we're going to be drinking double double barrel ale by. Fire to walk or some others because they're coming to CBC and we're going to be trying a lot of stuff. It's going to be awesome. But yeah, guys. Oh, and we're of course going to shoot some footage. But yeah, uh, thanks to Mess for sharing this beer with us as well. And happy birthday again. And yeah, let us know what you think of it if you've had it. Remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.